Hey everybody, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank, and today we're checking out the wide dynamic range gamma setting and custom picture menus on the Canon C300 and the C100. Before we get into an explanation of what wide dynamic range is, let's talk about what gamma settings are in general. Well, gamma settings are interpretations of the light coming off the sensor. And different gamma settings will interpret the range of luminance from dark to light in different ways based on our lighting scenarios. So let's go into scope box, let's look at some waveforms and see how these gamma settings affect our picture. Okay, so here we are in scope box and I have my C300 pointed at my uh, chart here. And you see that I have the EOS standard and you can also see on my waveform here, this is a RGB or red, green, blue parade of my primaries. And you can see the luminance right now is all the way up at 100, so my whites are just about to clip out here in terms of uh, the setting I have on the camera. So I'm gonna go into my custom picture menu and I'm gonna choose uh, a different gamma setting here. And there's my wide dynamic range. Now you'll notice immediately, as soon as I switch between these two, that I've lost about a stop of luminance here. Now I haven't changed the shutter, I haven't changed the iris. Uh, nothing's changed, I've just changed my gamma or my interpretation of how the luminance is being interpreted off of the sensor. Now if I go through the whole range here, let me go all the way back here, the normal settings here have very slight changes. You can see between one and two, I'm just bringing some of my highlights down here in three and four. I'm working on a little bit of the shadow areas. And this is really normal uh, type of settings here because these are intended to be what you see is what you get and you send it right out to air. Now if we wanted to capture the most dynamic range off of the camera sensor we would use this log setting. You can see here on scope box that it's pretty dramatic how different it's interpreting highlights to shadows and as a result we have to have a different exposure uh, setting for our midpoint and the other important thing to remember here is if I do use Canon Log, which is great because it's capturing the full dynamic range off my sensor, I'm gonna have to do a post grade on this. And I'm gonna have to remap or reinterpret what I've captured in Log into Rec. 709 so it looks proper on my monitor. But if I don't have the time or the resources to do a, a log recording, you might wanna check out the wide dynamic range because it's the closest thing you're gonna get in sort of the normal range of gamma responses in the camera uh, that don't require a post process. To give you a better idea of how wide dynamic range works, I took the camera over to the lens department here in Burbank and I sat down with my buddy Kyle while he was working on a lens and used a couple of different gamma settings and now we're going to go over and open it up in XF Utility which is the free software download from the Canon website and check out the clips and see what our results are. Okay so I've come over to a grading area and instead of putting it into Resolve and doing a color correct I'm going to just look at this stuff in XF Utility because the whole point of this is not have to go into grading and do a Resolve session or another grading program. So here I am in XF Utility and these are two shots, my buddy Kyle here. Now I intentionally showed a really challenging lighting setup, particularly you've got mixed lighting sources, but you've also got our California sunshine right outside the window there. And that is dramatically uh, overexposed compared to what we have on his face here. And this is the shot that was captured with the wide dynamic range. So you can see Kyle working away there. And now I'm going to jump over to the one that was shot in EOS standard. And you can see immediately uh, that pretty much all the detail uh, in that area outside the window is completely gone. Uh, go back to wide dynamic range and you can see that uh, it's blown out but I still have some information there. Again, I chose an intentionally really overexposed shot to kind of give you an example of how this could work uh, to your advantage in different lighting situations. And if you check the camera metadata, you can see that I didn't change anything between these two shots. I shot at a four with a 36 millimeter lens at 850 ISO. And that was the wide dynamic range shot. And here is the uh, 
shot using EOS standard. And I might go in and I look at the metadata on this one. Again, 180 shutter, 436 millimeters, 850 ISO. So everything identical, I just changed the uh, gamma setting and that is the power of the wide dynamic range. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.